Guys, I'm really excited about this 2024 Corvette E-Ray. Okay guys, in this 2024 year, coming up year, the Corvette E-Ray is coming. And it's gonna be the Corvette's or Chevy's most fastest Corvette ever. And I tell you, I'm excited for it and a little disappointed, but there's a lot more excited. First of all, it's still gonna have a V8. It's still gonna be a uh, forced, or not a forced, a uh, combustion engine, not electric, but it's also gonna have an electric engine on the front like the Acura NSX does but way faster. Now let's get into the facts. I'm gonna tell you about all about it. First of all, zero to 60 is in 2.5 seconds on the E-Ray. It's gonna weigh 300 pounds more than the Z06. Now the 6.2 liter V8 is gonna have a 495 horsepower and it's an LT2 engine. Now with that combined, combined guys, it has quite a bit of horsepower it has 655 system horsepower now about the about the negative about the core uh, electric engine it's not going to help the corvette after 130 miles an hour going to help it accelerate to 2.5 seconds because now going to be an all-wheel drive corvette but according to chevy it is not going to be used after 130 miles an hour now the top speed of this corvette e-ray is 180 miles an hour which i find disappointing if you're going to make a corvette supercar it's gonna be it, it's kind of disappointing i'd rather at least have a 200 miles of course car guy is gonna crack the code and be able to drive 200 miles an hour on the track but it's stock at 180 miles an hour it can do way faster than that and there's absolutely no means for chevy not to do 200 miles an hour personally if you're gonna make a supercar from america at least hit 200 miles an hour so you don't embarrass yourself from all the italian car manufacturers that make I'm supercars also really excited for because 180 corvette. miles an hour just a normal this corvette thing has stealth just mode. a minute well, let me show you how it works should have just stayed front and engage stealth mode you put your rifle on the brake turn the drive mode dial one over they say it's the size of a 12 pack shuttle cooler. normal and stealth mode that turn electric over to engine, stealth which is good mode. then you can now the weight is going to be 3,000 and you get these two gauges up here to give you pounds. electric motor output as well so, as your engine output. And let's take a listen to how it, it sounds is on the outside. A very heavy car to make it go that fast is just astonishing. It is faster than the Z06, but it is actually, sorry about the 130 miles an hour, it's actually geared out at 150 miles an hour for electric engine, but yeah, 180 miles an hour on a car is pretty fast, but just I wish that they made it a little bit faster for the Corvette. Now, the good news is, as far as I know from Chevy, that I'm reading up right now, the Corvette can use this electric motor without the combustion engine in the back working up to 45 miles an hour or until the battery dies. That is good. So it's basically a very nice hybrid. I like the fact that there's a now super car hybrids in the mix, and especially coming from America, as the best thing ever. Okay, so what else do we know about it? Well, what else I know about it right now is, as far as I know, this Z, uh, this uh, E-Ray is gonna have Z06 package on it. So it's not gonna be called the Z06, but it's gonna have Z06 features on it and the package. Now the price-wise gonna be a little bit more expensive than your typical Z06. The pri pri price basically MSRP is $111,295,000. $111,295,000. Is this affordable for the average uh, American that is on the richer side? Yes. Is it too expensive? I think by over 30,000. Because back when they re unveiled the Corvette, uh, just the Cor C8 Corvette, it was gonna be around 64,000 base price. And now we're not seeing this anywhere near. It's still the cheapest supercar, and it may not have all the luxuries of a Italian supercar, but for the most bang for your buck, America is, still the best way to go on the corvette as a supercar with that being said guys would i choose it over the acura and other italian supercars if i had the money yes i would why you do a lot more modifications to that engine that engine is very reliable and you could do a, there's a huge things you can do even modifying the outside of it 
and it is cheaper to maintain. You can do the oil changes yourself, just like at any Corvette. You could also, um, what do you call it? You have a huge support for it, of course, obviously, and it's cheaper, and it will outsmoke almost every supercar on the road. Just saying that. If you buy a, a McLaren or a Ferrari, you might actually it, it, you might actually lose to the cheaper Corvette. That's what been the Corvette been doing. It's been slashing all the all the supercars from the startup. So yes, I would definitely buy it. Not hey guys, I'm Eddie B. Driving attempt on the sex series.